Hi there everyone, it's Jenny at JC Cards. I'm glad to be joining you here on my own channel today. Normally I post videos over on Alter News uh, YouTube channel, which I'll link to in the description box below. But today we are having a video hop to celebrate the release of the new artistry by Alter New Artist Gouache Paints. And if you have never painted gouache before, I highly recommend grabbing this set. I myself have only used gouache once before. I am by no means an artist in this medium at all. I like watercolour. I thought I could play with these and it would act exactly the same and it definitely doesn't. But if you're familiar with watercolour paints, then the medium itself to you will be something that you're probably going to enjoy playing with. So I've just given you a quick look at the gorgeous, as always, packaging from Altenew. And I did Originally, when I created a card preceding this one, I actually squeezed some of the gouache into um, palettes uh, to keep like I do with my watercolours. And you can re-wet it once it's dried, but it was a lot harder to work uh, into a texture that I wanted to use uh, once it had dried. So I recommend using a palette. So I'm using the, the big acrylic palette from Altenew to squirt out the amount of paint that you want to use in the sitting that you're painting with and then keep the rest in the tube. Or you can even use it straight from the tube. You can wet it down to a very thin consistency. You'll get a little bit of translucency. Or as I am using it, I'm using a sort of I guess cream to butter type texture, so thickness. And I have like a damp brush. I've squeezed out the paint onto my palette uh, for mixing. So you can see here on my second color, I'm mixing between that slightly darker color and the corally color to get this nice peachy pink color. And uh, I'm then applying it with a damp brush, a tiny bit of water, and I get that really nice opacity. I'm using here hot pressed watercolor paper. It's smooth, so this paint really likes smooth cardstock that I, is my experience. It works just as well on cold press and rougher watercolor paper, but I get this nice ombre look. You can see I'm applying it almost like, um, I don't know, like cream. <laughs> it's just really, really nice and sort of buttery as it goes across. And I, the more paint you load up, the better opacity you get. And then I can go back over where those two colors overlap and just smooth it out. And you'll see me do that a few times. I'm working my way down top to bottom and where I've got sort of intermediate colors, that's a mix of the top of the color preceding it and the color after it. So you can see I'm mixing it on my palette here and then just applying it a couple of times with my brush. I do find it's a lot easier to control than watercolor. So where you apply your brush is where it's going to go. I don't have any water on my paper here, so it's not wicking out. It's, uh, it's quite easy to control. And then I can just add these swipes back and forth. And there you can see I'm just using uh, a paper towel that I have down at the bottom, wipe off my brush and then pick up some paint and blend it here and there so that I get that nice kind of blended look down from top to bottom. And then this is a quick look at it before I dry it. And then as I dry, I'm going to use my heat tool to speed it up. Uh, you can let it dry naturally. You get this kind of chalky matte finish. And the great thing about gouache, I'm going to show you this, even though I, it, this was not the best card I've made. I am not great. I am not an uh, artist by any stretch of the imagination when it comes to freehand painting. So I decided, you know what, I need some guide here. I'm going to use a stamp. So uh, I grabbed a leaf stamp, just a leaf stamp from my stash. And I'm just going to ink it up with the first ink I grabbed. I'm not going to, this color is not going to show through. Um, so I just needed a dye ink that could provide me with some sort of guide to where I'm going to add my next layer of gouache. A quick recommendation here is to make sure that bottom layer is completely dry before you come in with this top layer, including the ink that you stamp down. And I'm coming in with a detailed brush. I think this is the number one or the or even 0 0.5 uh, from Altenew's uh, detailed brush set. And I'm using one of the other colors from the gouache set to go over that outline, that silhouette of those leaves. I've got a little bit of a damp brush again, 
and, uh, and then I'm just painting over the top. And the mo most amazing thing about gouache is that you can add light over dark colors. Like not the same as with watercolor, you sort of start with your lighter and work to your dark. And then you can, once that's dry, add dark over the top of light and it doesn't blend. But you do have to be careful that you make sure that every layer is dry first, otherwise you're gonna get a, uh, a muddy kind of mixed up pile of uh, color. And so just be sure to dry it. I'm gonna come back with another detail brush and a darker color and add some leaf stems. I'm freehanding it. So uh, I probably could have also used a fine liner here as well if I thought about it just to add that detail. But this is really me playing around with gouache. I, I, like I say, I'm not an expert by any stretch of the imagination. I've seen a few of the others uh, uh, designs on the hop where they freehanded and uh, wow, you know, I need to really get practice in with this, with this stuff. But uh, it's so much fun and just like a completely different way to paint your cards or whatever else you're creating with. I also came in, added a little bit more water to my brush so I could add splatters. And I did also find the yellow and this lighter kind of green teal color in the set were good for lightening the other colors. So if you want to reach for a color to lighten up some of those darker colors, you can mix it with uh, those lighter colors in the set. Or a, if you've got any gouache in your collection already, a white gouache will also help lighten it. In the same way that with watercolor, we add water to lighten it, you can add a, a paler or whiter color. For my sentiment, I'm using that same leaf stamp set. I've grabbed some white cardstock and just stamping down the sentiment with some obsidian pigment ink. And uh, I trimmed that out and I'm gonna pop it up onto my panel, which I've trimmed to four and a quarter by five and a half inches. And I left a little bit of white peeping out the bottom for my note card. I thought that was nice and tied in with that sentiment there. And that finishes my card. I hope you've enjoyed. It's so much fun playing with these gouache paints and I do hope you'll give them a try, even if they're new to you. I hope that I, as a beginner, gave you a bit of inspiration there and uh, enjoy. The next stop on the hop is in the description below, as well as details on Alta News giveaway if you're watching this before the closing date. Have a wonderful day. Bye.